Hey, <laughs> that was stupid. That was stupid. Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. We are back. This is the 55th episode of What Was Changelings. Shore film is now the tear. Um, there's been quite a few changes happening here uh, at Distant Signal with regard to the tear, formerly Changelings. And uh, I just want to work through a couple of them briefly just to let you know that things have been moving forward and how things are going to be turning out uh, in the next few weeks with uh, this vlog, is now that we're back, and also the short film. Uh, so the first thing is we lost our DP, unfortunately. Uh, there was a bit of a disagreement on how things should proceed, and unfortunately we had to part ways. I don't have much more to say on that, um, but uh, maybe I'll do a separate video where I break down my, my thoughts on the whole thing, but uh, we're just going to keep this strictly to change links today, or sorry, the tear, and just um, bring you all up to speed. Uh, so we're looking for a new DP, and uh, we uh, just had our first table read. So that's great. I, we got to hear the script for the very first time out loud, and I have to, uh, it really reveals all the flaws. Or not all the flaws. It reveals a lot, reveals a lot of flaws in the writing. Uh, I mean, you can hear, like, well, that just sounds kind of funny, or people don't really talk like that, or there's a, this pause is weird, or that's not really quite making sense. Sometimes when you write things on the page and then you hear them out loud, they just can take on to totally different contexts, or uh, maybe it's just linguistically, like flow-wise, rhythm-wise, it just isn't working. Like, you thought it would work, it works on the page, but, you know, maybe it doesn't come off the tongue right. So anyways, we had our first read, and that was immensely helpful. So big thanks to the cast who came out to do that late at night. <laughs> it, was, it was at like 10 at night, no, sorry, 9 at night, and it's, you typically don't do uh, rehearsals or table reads or anything that late. Usually we, we do it during the, you know, prime time during the day because we're a little tired. We all looked a little bags under the eyesy kind of stuff. But that's what you do to make your films. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. This is going to be the Virgin video on DTube, so that's kind of exciting. Very cool. You know, still very active on Steam. And um, as far as that's concerned, I'm posting all the stuff that I create for uh, the tear on our, my Instagram channels as well as Steam. But if you are into cryptocurrency, you know, check me out on Steam if you have an account there because I'm posting there. I post to Steam more than I post to anywhere else. But I'm trying to get back to Twitter and to uh, get back to Instagram for Distance Signal. So that brings me to the next bit of big news. Mark Gonzalez has come on board to help me produce uh, the tear as producer. We are moving forward with building the, uh, the crowdfunding campaign. I know that was supposed to happen months ago, but I just couldn't handle the load with work and everything. Um, and then, especially lately, I need the help because big news in my life, I'm going to be a father. So I don't know how that's quite going to work with making a short film yet. But I suppose that's the journey we all go through when we're about to have a kid is, how's this going to work? My life was formulated one way, and now it's going to be formulated in an entire, entirely different way. So big adventures on the horizon, baby. Short film, baby, 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 baby. So there's a lot that, it's a lot that's happening. So now that Mark's on board, we are moving forward much more quickly with the crowdfunding process. Uh, my intention is still to launch on Steam, but I want to try to do a simultaneous launch on Steam and say Indiegogo. Uh, we're reformulating the perks so that there's less stuff that we have to produce. That was one of the big things that I learned in reading a lot of the material out there was that it was important to make sure to reduce your physical material load when creating perks for crowdfunding. So keep that in mind if any of you are out there going to be, be making a film. And so, yeah, so we're going to be launching hopefully simultaneously. I still have to look at all the rules uh, for each platform. I know that some have non-compete clauses where you're not allowed to host two at the same time. I don't think Indiegogo does that. I haven't found any, any evidence of that yet. But if that's the case, I'll probably have to move to a different one. The script has gone through at least five more revisions. It's much better. It's a little bit longer, which is not good for the budget. But we are looking at now shooting everything in Redlands. Uh, we, I was looking at, you know, we were looking at shooting everything in Fraser Park, but, you know, for seven, you know, it's 70 miles away. It's in a place where I have no real uh, resources to draw from in order to make the tear. I mean, it's going to be a, a very, God dang it. All right, so we're still recording, great. Um, so I've decided to move production to Redlands, California, which is my hometown, and that's going to be really cool because we get to highlight Redlands, which is a very beautiful city, 
and I have a lot of resources to draw from. It makes shooting much cheaper because I can shoot at a couple places for free. Hotels are cheaper out there if I need to rent a hotel. So things are just generally cheaper, about 70 to 100 miles outside of Los Angeles. And everyone's really excited to, sh to make a movie. I, I get a general sense of enthusiasm when I tell people, I'm making a movie out here. They go, oh, they go, oh that's really neat. But in LA, it's like, oh, another movie. <laughs> so that's a nice attitudinal change. Uh, for, you know, for, for, for the film. I mean, just for actually making the film. It's just a nice attitude to encounter, I guess. Uh, so that's another big piece of news. And so we have a producer on Redlands. Uh, he is, his name is Eddie. He runs Vid Atlantic. So he's going to be helping us produce from out there. And another gentleman by the name of Dan. I'll have their uh, links in the descriptions below. I forget Dan's last name and I apologize, Dan. But uh, so Vid Atlantic and Eddie are going to be helping produce uh, locally on Redlands for us. And so things are going to start moving much more quickly now, thankfully. And we are looking at getting the campaign up uh, really, really soon. So keep an eye out for more updates on that. Things are still moving, moving forward. Sorry for the absence. I promise to be making a lot more content, even if it's really, really short, on the video to keep you up to date. And I'm going to try to structure these a little bit better. Uh, I'm thinking maybe one section will be a movie I hate and a movie I love. That could be fun. And one little bit of news in cryptocurrency as it relates to film. So maybe Steam... Like, I guess one bit would be, if we were talking about cryptocurrency, Steam's price is really, really low. It's dropped from the high of, I think, $8 once down to $0.12. Cents. So that's been a bit of a bummer for people who like to hold on for dear life when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency. So that's been a bummer. So maybe something like that. Uh, movie I hated, uh, Under the Shadow of the Moon. I really I didn't like that. Another movie I really kind of didn't like was Midsommar. I feel like that is an unpopular opinion. But is there a movie I really liked? I guess not really. Not lately. Yeah, anyways. I want to see Joker. How was Joker? Bye.